Hey coders and welcome to episode 2 of our orientation playlist on the Google Cloud Platform course. In this episode we're going to be covering the prerequisites necessary in order for you to access the services on Google Cloud. So I have identified two things necessary to access the services and they are number one obviously a Google Cloud account and you can create your Google Cloud account with your own Google account or if you just have a Gmail that is okay too. You'll need a few more things such as your address and if you are creating a business account with Google Cloud you'll need to input say your business name as well. So after you have created your Google Cloud account, in order to access any of these services that it provides, you'll need to input either a debit card, credit card, bank account, or PayPal account. And the reason why Google Cloud does this is not so that they can start immediately charging your card right away. In fact, they give you a free $300 of credit in order to experiment with a lot of the services on Google Cloud so you won't need to worry about cash immediately. Uh, the reason why they do this is rather to verify that you aren't a robot and that you are indeed an actual human being. In fact, even after your free trial ends, they won't even charge your account without you explicitly telling them to charge this uh, debit card or bank account, whatever you input. And by the way, most of the times you won't even need to be charged if you're just playing around with Google Cloud and not creating any big projects. Most of the times, if you're just doing small stuff, you'll stay within the free quota and you won't be charged for those services. You'll only be charged if you're not on the free trial and you're, and you're building out a big project and using, utilizing a lot of their services. So the last thing that you'll need, which I didn't put on the slide, uh, which I still think is necessary, is a desire to learn. So although Google Cloud, in my opinion, is easy to learn, there are still hundreds of services which are not immediately intuitive. So you'll, you'll still need to learn uh, how all of these services work and how they could be of service to you. So a background in programming is helpful, but it's not necessary um, as long as you have that desire to learn. That desire to learn will trump any uh, shortcomings or inadequacies with your own um, uh, with your own developing background. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something from it. If you did, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button, and I'll see you in the very next episode.